Germany is already the worst performing industrial economy, but a nationalist drift threatens to deepen the country's unfolding crisis even further. By appealing to a growing sense of unease, the far-right AFD party, which wants to weaken the EU and reinstall the Deutschmark, is on the rise and leading all three governing parties in national polls. Dresden, which is the capital of the former communist state of Saxony, where the AFD is the strongest force, is a flashpoint for the tension sweeping Germany. The mayor says intensifying fragmentation is making politics less predictable and sees parallels to the period that preceded the rise of the Nazis. The independent solution is to cut across party lines to keep the city's development on track. Fragmentation is a big threat. It carries the risk that political decision-making and reliability of politics decreases. And so, people feel even less well represented. I look at these developments very closely and with great concern. I see it as a real danger to democracy. And we need to find the right instruments so that we can live with diversity and with freedom to make reliable decisions and create a certain structured framework. That's not to be underestimated. With tensions already on edge over the stumbling economy and spiking migration, the AFD has sought to use recent pro-Palestine protests in Germany to fuel anxiety. Meanwhile, the political establishment is struggling to find an answer for the AFD and declining support for mainstream parties like Chancellor Olaf Scholz's Social Democrats threatens to slow efforts to defuse social tensions and reinvigorate Europe's largest economy. <laughs>